Welcome back friends. <clears throat> I have noted some important uh, historic events of uh, westernization of Chinese medicine. So during Ming dynasty of China, somewhere from 1368 to 1644, there is a western medicine and traditional Chinese medicine has been introduced where Western medical doctors have started studying traditional Chinese medicine and traditional Chinese medical doctors have started studying Western medicine, especially it was more popular in the Europe, European countries during Ming dynasty. But during Qing dynasty from 1644 to 1911 and the nationalist China 1911 to 1947, traditional Chinese medicine especially acupuncture and moxie have been its downfall where these team of Qing dynasty and the nationalistic China have not focused on their own national heritage and patriotic spirit of traditional Chinese medicine and in that acupuncture and moxie. So there is a downfall of a traditional Chinese medicine during Qing dynasty and the nationalist China. But during People Republic of China, where it has started from 1949, where they have uplifted the traditional Chinese medicine as a nationalistic spirit and it has promoted to a greatest height. So this is a very interesting fact where the people's own country and its own traditional Chinese medical system has been evolved to a great heights because of the political promotion. So in India also we need, at this juncture of 2023, we need excessive promotion of yoga and Ayurveda at a national level by the government bodies, by the people who can do it and also by the people who promote it with an evidence base. So during 1958, there is a very great height of increase in the traditional Chinese medical system of understanding to the West. To much more heights with a lot of evidences where some of the evidences like uh, acupuncture anesthesia have been proven it, it is usefulness of acupuncture in terms of anesthesia where nerve blocks and other things it has been systematically proven with evidences and uh, facts where acupuncture became most accepted science as an alternative science for western population it is an alternative science so interest in the West has started much more during 1970s and till date. So this very small introduction of uh, westernization of traditional Chinese medicine where during 1970s China was a little open to make the people accept the traditional Chinese medicine and also for the Western population to come and study in China. So this was a great initiative, great medical tourism, great uh, a promotion of their cultural heritage and nat national pride of traditional Chinese medicine. I hope our all Ayurveda doctors of India and the government of India also promotes Ayurveda to its great heights by making it more evidence based. I also request most of the Ayurveda doctors who are practicing allopathy to think over it's nothing wrong about you practicing uh, allopathy for your livelihood, nothing wrong, but on a national level, if you can make Ayurveda famous by whatever means of you, based on your living conditions, whatever you can do for Ayurveda, please do it. For the sake of uh, national pride and for the sake of your Ishta Devata Dhanvantari, please do something for Ayurveda before you die. Thank you.